There is not one type of cardio that is better than the other for burning fat or staying in shape or building muscle. I'm just wondering what kind of cardio you can... Call me again, see what happens. <laughs> Welcome to Ask Jesse. Today we are at Jesse Fitness headquarters. So let's get started. The first question is um, off of Instagram from at Terry Leff. And her question is Hi Jesse, what type of cardio are you doing through your pregnancy? And what type of cardio do you do when you're not pregnant? You are awesome. No, you are awesome. <laughs> um, during pregnancy, I usually recommend keeping. Uh, your heart rate within 60 to 75 percent of its max. So basically that puts you into a steady state cardio range throughout your pregnancy. Although I will say that if you have been training with intensity, if you've been training, if you've been doing HIIT training or plyometrics or running or whatever it is, sprints, anything like that, if you've been doing that prior to becoming pregnant, if that's your training style, there is nothing wrong with continuing that into your pregnancy as long as you don't have any health complications, as long as you discuss it with your doctor, and as long as you're comfortable with it. So I want to tell you that you can continue doing whatever style of training that you were doing uh, before pregnancy, during pregnancy, as long as you listen to your body and stay really safe. Remember, it's pregnancy, you need to cut yourself some slack, you need to take care of that baby, and you need to take care of your body. So going back to, let's say you haven't been a high intensity interval trainer, um, training style during, you know, before pregnancy, and you're just wanting to do some cardio during your pregnancy to stay fit and stay healthy and keep moving. That's when I recommend steady state cardio, which means that your heart rate stays in a steady state um, throughout the entire duration of cardio. So let's say you do 30 minutes, you wanna wear a heart rate monitor and you want to monitor your heart rate. You wanna calculate your maximum heart rate percentage. There's a calculation for that. And then you take a percentage of that. So that's where I want you to be within 60 to 75% of that max throughout the entire session. I really like walking during pregnancy. I know that probably sounds extremely boring to some of you, but it one is safe. It's safer than being on the step mill and losing your footing and falling off of a step mill. But I really love walking because you can get outside, you can walk on a hiking trail, you can walk uphill, you can walk around your neighborhood. It literally lasts through every single trimester. Your first trimester, if you're anything like me, you feel like complete crap. It takes everything just to get out and get moving because you're either nauseous, you're sick, or you don't have any energy. So just literally walking around your neighborhood or being at a gym and walking really lightly on a treadmill can get you through that first trimester. And then when you feel great in your second trimester, you can kick it up a notch with your walking. You can walk up a hill, you can go for um, a slightly more vigorous walk. You can go for an uphill hike, you can do stuff like that. So walking really kind of goes through the entire duration of your pregnancy. Third trimester, which is what I'm in right now, um, walking is really great. I try to pick like a steady climb of a hill and that usually feels really good to me and it keeps my heart rate in that steady state zone the whole entire time. Also, walking isn't strenuous on any part of your body you, it, it, and it actually is really good for you because it keeps those psoas muscle, muscles stretching. Um, which you'll need for labor and delivery. And so you wanna keep in mind that those connective tissues and your ligaments are all kind of stretched out and compromised during pregnancy. So you don't wanna do anything like long stride sprinting or anything crazy like that, that will cause you to be more limber than you really need to be. You are more limber than normal while you're pregnant, so you have to really be careful. You don't want to stretch too deeply. You don't want to squat too deeply. You don't want to, you know, do hot yoga and stretch farther than you think you can, um, or than you're capable. So walking just seems to be really safe. I like recommending that. You will be shocked how much your lung capacity changes when you're pregnant. Shit, I walk up a flight of short stairs and I'm completely winded at the top, and I'm in incredible shape. So. Remember, your diaphragm moves, I think, like a few inches up from its normal position while you're pregnant. 
also your lung capacity decreases. So you want to keep that in mind while you're pregnant and just cut yourself some slack. Those things are actually happening happening within your body. It doesn't mean you're out of shape. It doesn't mean anything. So um, steady state cardio is where it's at during my pregnancy. Basically, just remember that pregnancy is not the time to make gains or lose fat. Enjoy the process, love your body, take care of yourself, and chill out. Now the second part of this question is, what do you do for cardio when you're not pregnant? I happen to live in Arizona, which is an amazing opportunity, basically October through April or May, to be outside doing all of my cardio. I love going to the track and running sprints. I love running bleachers. I love running stairs. I love that kind of stuff because it really mixes things up a little bit. During the summer months here in Arizona, you can usually find me inside because <laughs> it's crazy hot like it is right now. And I am running inclined sprints on a treadmill. I am pushing the weighted sled up and down the turf at the gym. I am doing, which are all forms of HIT, or I am doing plyometrics because I usually follow one of my bikini body or Jesse's Girls muscle building programs. All the cardio written into those programs is pretty badass, so I kind of mix it up a little bit. And I also do steady state cardio. There is not one type of cardio that is better than the other for burning fat or staying in shape or building muscle. It's just very important that you're diverse and that you mix it up quite a bit. So. An example of a split for me during the week would be lifting five times a week, doing HIT interval training twice a week, and then maybe one day a week of steady state cardio. That's kind of how I mix everything up, and it changes a lot depending on my goals. So that's what I love to do. Great question. Just remember to keep it interesting, wear your heart rate monitor, and track everything and your progress with your interval training and your heart rate zones because you'll be able to track how much you're getting in shape and how much your cardiovascular health and fitness is improving. Cool. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Ask Jesse. Make sure to leave any comments or questions you have below. I will answer and respond to your comments here. And then also please like this video and please subscribe to my channel and share it because I have all sorts of amazing knowledge for you that I love sharing. Thanks for submitting your questions and have an awesome day. Train hard.